America's oldest World War II veteran still needs help staying inside his East Austin home. Veterans Affairs benefits do not cover 24-7 at-home care. KXAN's Lauren Kravitz explains why and what help veterans can get at home. He's been on this earth for 110 years and seen a lot. I say you nice uniform. <laughs> this is the best picture I made. But there's one place United States Army veteran Richard Overton enjoys the most. I build it. His front porch. It's a happy life. It's my living. Overton built his East Austin house in 1945, and it's now a struggle to stay inside. His current caretaker can no longer provide, and VA benefits don't cover a around the clock at home care. When you're at the point where, where 24 7 care is, is needed, not only what's best for the veteran might not be the home, the caregiver is taxed at that point too. The VA does cover at home care seven days a week, up to three hours a day. Veterans can also apply for money to help pay for in home care. But Overton's family isn't relying on the VA. They've turned to crowdfunding to keep their loved one where he loves to be. I'd hate to see him not have a smile on his face because he's smiling when we come over here. Look at him. <laughs> and that would take that smile away. This smile is, is America's treasure. And they want to keep this gem sparkling at his own home. I'm not going to sell it. If I sell it, I sell it for $10 million. <laughs> Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. Overton's family has started a GoFundMe page. We have a link to it with this report at KXAN.com. AARP research just released last month gives us a snapshot of the strain caring for a parent or another loved one can have on families. It shows caregivers spend on average nearly 20% of their income on caregiving activities. More than three quarters of caregivers face out of pocket costs that add up to roughly $7,000 per year. Household expenses are responsible for the largest share of that spending, more than 40%. Medical expenses account for a huge chunk as well, 25%.